Uh, a plan to build a 75 metre walkway into Auckland's Waitamata Harbour to accommodate giant cruise ships has come under fire from the local board. Activists, just about everyone, I suspect. The Auckland Council's development agency, Panuku, wants to build the walkway from the end of Queen's Wharf to a proposed mooring structure needed for the larger cruise ships. Remember, and uh, Giles Beckford was talking about this a couple of weeks ago, these ships are very, very big business in New Zealand over the next few months, not just in Auckland. Uh, but the proposed structure will cost ratepayers 10 to $12 million and is only seen as a short-term answer to birthing new generation cruise ships too long for wharves. Here's this report from Sally Murphy. Ports of Auckland says two cruise ships would need the new mooring during the 2017-2018 season for four visits with the first visit by the 384 metre long Ovation of the Seas ship expected this summer. Because of its size it has to anchor in the harbour and its passengers will be ferried ashore. Hence the proposed new mooring known as a dolphin. Ports of Auckland says the walkway is needed as an escape route for staff tying up the ships. Stop Stealing Our Harbour spokesman Shane Vulitich says up to $12 million for four cruise ship visits doesn't seem feasible. He says nearby Bletisloe Wharf should be used until a more permanent solution is found. What we'd like to see is a comprehensive cost-benefit analysis to weigh up the benefits of accommodating those small number of additional visits against the $10 million or $12 million of uh, ratepayer money that's proposed to put uh, Dolphin into the harbour. Two further large ships are tentatively booked for 10 visits if the Dolphin is finished in time for the next cruise season. Mr Volitich says the council needs to consider all alternatives for berthing the larger ships before putting more concrete into the harbour. Bledisloe Wharf is sitting there. I know the ports of Auckland use that to, to bring cars in, into the city, but we're talking about three additional ship visits per year. And what I'd like to see is some political leadership around asking the question at least of whether those three additional ship visits could be accommodated at Bledisloe Wharf. But the Waitamata local board chair, Shale Chambers, hopes the new mayor, Phil Goff, can stop the walkway before it goes to a resource consent hearing. It's a nice to have. It comes at a considerable cost. And in the current uh, environment, my personal view and the, the informal view of the board was that would be considered a uh, wharf extension and in the circumstances in the current environment was unnecessary. But locals we spoke to were in favour of the walkway. I think it's a good idea. I think that we need to encourage uh, more cruise ships and visitors into the bottom of Auckland City rather than putting them in a place which isn't so friendly and this is a great location for that. I'm generally not that keen on extending into the wharf but for the right thing I think it's a good idea and I think a cruise ship can, uh, making this available for all cruise ships would be well worth it. It would be good for um, development to get the bigger cruise ships here. Yeah, I believe that there's only a couple of cruise ships that I mean, the they, ports that they can get to. So I mean, it would be good to get those the bigger ones in here. The resource consent application was lodged by the council agency on the 30th of September, eight days before the local body elections that brought Phil Goff into office. Mr Goff was unaware of the walkway until contacted by RNZ and has now demanded a report from Panuku weighing up less intrusive alternatives. Panuku has put the resource consent application on hold for 20 days while they respond to the Mayor's questions. In Auckland for Checkpoint, Corsali Murphy Tine.